Now, while you're out there practicing leadership by walking around, you might find a, an opportunity to create some quality circles that can help you improve uh, the operation. You might meet some uh, employees that are really interested in improving things and, uh, and want to take some time to uh, really solve some problems. So a quality circle is when you form a small group, uh, small groups of employees, they need to be volunteers because they need to be truly interested. Uh, if they're made to be part of a quality circle, they might, may not care about getting positive results and it might be a, a waste of time. So we get a small group of employees who are volunteers and they meet on the clock, meaning that uh, they're not volunteering their time, uh, their own time, they're, they're getting paid uh, while they're doing the quality circles. Uh, and they attempt to resolve any problems or make steps in continuous improvements. Uh, these improvements might include uh, reduced assembly errors, uh, they may raise quality, uh, they may save operational time, maybe some steps in the operation aren't needed. Uh, they can find the root causes of the problem instead of just trying to cover up things with a band-aid or duct tape, they really figure out the, the root cause of problems and they take baby steps. And if you haven't seen it before, uh, it might uh, turn into a plan, do, study, act cycle where, uh, which I'm sure you've seen before, where the team uh, comes up with a plan to make an improvement. They try it out on a small scale. They study the results. If the results are good, they adopt that and maybe spread it uh, operation-wide or uh, they decide that the plan didn't work, it wasn't worth it. Uh, so they come up with another plan. So they continuously do that. So this would result in <clears throat> the employees actually thinking through the process. They're getting involved, they're getting engaged in the workplace. Uh, it's a training ground. Uh, it allows for some team building. You know, a lot of these conversations wouldn't stop just as it's on the clock. Uh, the employees might go home and uh, have a few beers or something and talk about the problems and, and come up with something. So there's, a, there's team building there. And when and if when management listens to the employees uh, and listens to their ideas, trusts the employees and implements the idea that can be hugely motivational to the employee and the employee goes home with pride. Well, that's all good stuff right there. And then it also would allow management and employees to bond and the, the employees get to show their stuff and, and impress the boss and the boss is impressed with them and then now they're, they're all working together instead of working against each other. So there's a lot of good things that can come out of quality circles. The employees might get an easier job, uh, meaning the things that were frustrating or busting their knuckles or whatever, those things might go away. Uh, also, heavy lifting. You know, if only we had a little uh, roller thing here, then it wouldn't hurt the back. What about the uh, sponge uh, mats that employees might walk on? I remember having to stand on a steel grid for hours and hours at a time and it would just kill my feet. In fact, my feet are hurting right now on, on this tile. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, it might make <clears throat> the employee's job easier. So the, the employee wins. They get to address their own problems that they're having. Management wins because they have fewer problems. Uh, and maybe the, uh, you know, that could be huge, even if at five cents to five percent to the bottom line. Uh, customer gets a better product, gets it possibly quicker, and the shareholders get a better return on their investment. And right there is the, tr the problem. There's an article uh, called, I think it's called Raw Fish, and it's where the, uh, I don't know how this works, but the, the American company goes, it always seems to be going over to the Japanese company to observe and go to Gimba, their Gimba, and observe, I don't know how that would work, uh, auto industry, I guess. And the Americans noticed that the Japanese stopped 
the production line it just quit and they stood there in little groups little groups of quality circles staring at their their workplace you know maybe the table needs to be a little bit higher maybe it, we need to move this over a little bit and then we'd have more space for something else so they're doing this and the uh, the foreigners are looking you know going what are they doing oh that's quality circles you go but you got millions and millions of dollars worth of equipment that's sitting here doing nothing for how long we do this two hours a week two hours a week you know your production could be so much more because how do you, you can't how do you afford to do that the answer is how can we afford not to so investment has different you know views on investment uh, some people see this as a huge investment that we we can't afford to you know not make and then other people say uh, we can't do that we can't shut down the operation and by the way what do these people know they barely got through you know uh, management problem management isn't committed to the quality circles they go over and they see the results of the quality circles and all of this stuff right here and they go hey we want to be a part of that uh, let's try it out okay we'll get the employees we'll take all this off and put employees in groups and then they'll come up with ideas uh, we'll pay them I guess we'll pay them and then uh, they'll come up with some problems that we need to solve uh, but management in reality a lot of times is seeing this as waste not an investment management isn't committed to the quality circles even when they do come up with all of these ideas uh, management doesn't listen and it's not in the budget we can't afford to be doing that we got to get we got targets to make we got our quarterly you know report coming out uh, we can't take time to raise a table or worry about your back or uh, injuries and busted not well no we don't have time for that that's what we pay you for busted knuckles and bad backs so uh, you might look up that I did look it up uh, uh, a while back and it was on the on the Google uh, but anyway okay so a great opportunity uh, for small baby steps that would gain over time resulting in uh, everybody winning look at this everybody wins but the problem is management a lot of times is too busy putting band-aids over things just to make it through the day putting out the fires they're gonna start right back up the next day so there's they're just too busy to make true uh, root cause uh, continuous improvements okay there we go look look at all the benefits the employees win management wins customers win shareholders win